Hey everyone, this is Greg from Texistence, and today I have a pure pleasure to present to you something that we've been working on for at least a year. This is Alice, and Alice is a native macOS and Windows app that you can use to work hand in hand with artificial intelligence. Let me show you what Alice is all about. First of all, Alice is the fastest experience with LLMs, period. It's a native app, and if I press return with this question, please take a look at how fast I got the response. I promise I did not edit this video like Google. Secondly, you can work with different models, even within one conversation. So you can use all the great OpenAI models like GPT-4 Turbo or 3.5 Turbo, but you can also use Cloud Free Opus or Sonnet or Haiku or even Sonar, which is a great model from Perplexity. So when I just ask who won the Grammy, I'll get the answer right away. And that's not even all, because from the Alice settings, you can go to the advanced tab and you can connect an offline model as well. But this is just for a start. Let me show you something that's really cool. Have you ever seen an AI assistant that can connect to your software? For example, uh, Todoist. What I'm going to do is just select a to-do action that I have here. And I want to plan to launch Alice on Wednesday, 9 a.m. What Alice will do for me is she'll schedule this lunch and add this to my list. And this is just the beginning, and I'll show you a little bit more about this later. Alice is all about productivity. Let me show you another example. Here I have some text that's full of mistakes, and all I need to do is just press a keyboard shortcut, and now this text is being sent to Alice in the background. She's correcting the text, and now I have the uh, correct version free of errors that I can easily use in uh, my email client or in a Word document. This is all happening in the background because I can use things that we call snippets and I can do it both inside Alice. So for example, I can explain or extend the text or stylize. If I select extend, I can just uh, uh, decide that I'll do it in Alice, but also as you saw, I can use it with keyboard shortcuts. So there's a lot of snippets available in Alice, if I go to those. Um, and you can see that you can apply any keyboard shortcut to any of the snippets that is pre-built in Alice, but also you can create your own snippets and you can decide what kind of prompt this will be as well as what model it's using. It's really game changing to be able to execute prompts with the keyboard shortcuts without leaving the software that you're working in. Alice can also work with images. If you click on this little image icon and you provide the prompt, then press return and Alice will now connect to DALI in order to generate an image for you. The same thing can happen with reading images. We use vision in Alice and you can put any image and just drag and drop it onto Alice's canvas and you can ask about anything that's on the image. So generating image takes some time, but it's also pretty fast. And here we have the image of the cat as well as the revised prompt. So I just gave it a simple instruction and it helped me to come up with the prompt that actually make this picture much better. Another great feature of Alice is that you can have a lot of different assistants in uh, one app. So you can switch between the assistants and I do have a lot of assistants that help me with specific tasks. For example, Foy helps me with marketing of one of my projects and I can ask him, for example, what project we're working on and he already knows the details. This helps a lot because I can chat with uh, Foy about some marketing strategy for Easy, and I already have the necessary details in his main instruction so that he can easily come up with the right advice. The same happens if I want to create a new chat and transition to Kiki. Kiki actually works with me uh, on Alice. So now what I can do is I can use one of the actions, which is reformat for Twitter, and I'm just saying that we are launching on Wednesday. From this, she'll create a short message that I can publish on Twitter. And believe me or not, but I have the Twitter action here so I can publish straight from Alice. Here we are waiting for the response. And by the way, this is with GPT-4, while Kiki is based on Opus. So you can have different models mix and match together. And here is my post on X that went here. And I need to delete that, okay? So how does it even work? Well, we run automations in the background. So for example, you can create an automation that publishes on Twitter and it looks like this. It's super easy and everyone can do it in like five minutes. But the fact that we are using Make or Zapier or any other automation service or even your own software, your own API and endpoints is so great because you can use the integrations that they already have and it's over 1000 apps that you can connect and you can use Discord and Facebook pages and pipe drive, stripe, whatever you have and execute actions within the software with Alice. 
and I guarantee you it's great fun and we have tons of resources to teach you how to create such automations. You might say that Alice is like an IKEA furniture, so you buy it, but then you also have to tweak it a little bit and it's so much fun. Let me show you one more thing. I've connected to Wolfram here and it took me like 10 minutes. It's free to use and I can ask for complex um, calculations, but also I can use, by the way, this little microphone icon to dictate to Alice and I can say, uh, can you convert currency for me? I need to convert 10 euro to dollars. And now I send it. And here we have it, it's 10.84 US dollars. And it happens to be correct. And by the way, I can show you these examples like all day long, but uh, let me show you some sample report that I have. This is from analytics, for, from Google Analytics or Simple Analytics in my case. So I just say Edweb, which is my website, stats for last week. And I wait, wait for the data. And here I have the date and also the page views and visitors that I had on my website. If you want to see more examples, please make sure you check out heyalice.app website and there will be hundreds of inspirations waiting for you as well and ready-made scenarios that you can implement. So about Alice, well, what you also can do is you can work with her uh, on the side uh, of your screen and this is very convenient because she can always uh, be here and you can always summon her by the keyboard shortcut and also you can work full screen. If you have a single task that you want to do in Alice, it's a really nice view to work with. Also, you have a full history, like in ChatGPT, you can scan through your messages, you can move through the history of the chats, rename them and look for some specific conversation. You also have settings here, and uh, in the general settings, you will be able to provide your OpenAI API key, and this is how you pay for the tokens, as well as Perplexity, Anthropic, and Grok. But on top of that, we also have our AI credits plan that will grant you access to most of the models and all of the models that we'll be adding in future so that you don't have to register everywhere. All right, so this is it, but that's just the beginning. Uh, to be honest, if you try it for yourself, download Alice and see how beautiful and how easy it is to interact with LLMs and also try to uh, create so your own automations, you will never go back to your old productivity workflow. This is a game changer, I promise you that, so I hope that you will check out Alice and I can't wait what you'll do with it.